hello all welcome to this video in this video you will learn how to create a docker image for running a static HTML website using nginx the scenario will explain how to build a docker image running nginx with your HTML site the aim is to help you understand how to create and run docker images created by yourself so in case if you are a UI developer or you are running a simple or testing some new programming languages like Python, Java, PHP, Angular, these are the server side programming languages. So in order to run the static code of these languages, you need to host a web server. So instead of downloading a web server or basically spinning a, a VM virtual machine and running that code inside a VM. You can spin up that container and you can in that way you can save up the disk space as well as the memory power and CPU power. In this tutorial I will show you how you can do it for a simple HTML website and I will I can you can also follow along with this video if you if you are interested and if you are uh, if you like to learn your code in a, your local machine and docker container. So the steps are very simple and this tutorial is very simple to do. But once you understand, you can able to install and run any application, any big application, Python or the Java based application. Okay, so let's start this. So first thing we need to have, we need to create a static code file, a HTML file. So just I'm going, so I have created this container demo in a desktop folder. Uh, this particular container folder I have created in a, on my desktop. And you, if you, you must have editor like Eclipse or VS Code just include that particular folder into it as, as your workspace so that you can create whatever the files you are going to create in this tutorial can go inside those particular folder so first file we need to create is the index.html file so just click on this icon we will click index.html okay so now we have to paste some code here either we can write some code or i would like to just grab some sample code from the internet I have selected this gate bootstrap template I find this is quite good so I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste that in this particular index.html file I'm just going to modify the title hello let's keep the hello world and hello world in a docker container uh, something like that we can give here okay save this the next file we need to create is the docker file so let's create the docker file and why we require a docker file i will explain you the reason we require a docker file because to create a docker image so what are docker images docker images are start from a base image so basically a image the base image basically should include the platform dependencies required by your application for example if you have the java base application you must require the jvm right open jdk or clr like if you are using the angular you need the angular cli installed so these are all the dependencies in order to run that particular application so this dependency you wrap in a base image so that your application can run smoothly without any uh, disturbance so those are called the base images so the base image is defined as an instruction file so instruction in the as a docker file so docker images are built based on the contents of a docker file so docker file is nothing but a list of instruction describing how you can deploy your application so in this example the, this particular example our base image is nothing but a alpine version of nginx so nginx is a web server just like the apache you have the apache web server nginx is another web server which is mainly used for the uh, proxy and the reverse proxy stuff but overall it, it has the same properties and characteristic as the apache web server in this example i'm going to use the nginx so this provides the configured web server on the linux alpine distribution so this particular uh, image nginx image is based on the linux alpine version okay so and what is the alpine distribution and all that if you are interested on that then comment on this video i uh, will make another tutorial on another video explaining what other are the linux distribution and the distros available and how we, what are the main differences between those okay so let's start building our docker file the first keyword you need to use is the from keyword so from keyword basically explains 
from which particular base image you want to create this particular docker image so in our case we wanted to use from nginx and as you see uh, i'm already getting some suggestion here so when i type nginx that is because i have installed this docker plugin in my system you can see and because of that i'm getting but if you if you are not installed that you can install the docker plugin i will show you in a second and you just need the alpine version okay so this is the first line of the instruction we need the second part we need to use a copy command a copy command basically copies as the name says it copies the files from the current directory to the nginx web server public directory so nginx keep its public files in user share nginx html the first line defines our base image the second line copies the content of the current directory into the location inside the nginx container that's it that's how we have to do it let's save this okay once you do this this is the first step the second part is the build command so we need to build this docker file right now in order to build the docker files you need to use the docker build command okay so the docker build command takes some parameters parameters like as you see in this terminal docker build if you don't know how you can open the terminal you can just go to terminal this icon it will open up a terminal for you i already open up the terminal let me delete one okay so in order to build the docker file uh, you have to use the docker build command i always make sure that you are running this docker build command from the same directory where you have kept the docker file okay so do the docker build command then do the hyphen t hyphen t stands for the tag okay so the hyphen t parameter basically allows you to specify a friendly name for the image and the tag so commonly used as a version number basically so in the production or the in any other environment you will uh, you will version the image every image will be different from the second previous image so the versioning basically helps this way and this allows you to track built images and be confident about which version is being uh, started on the setup basically on the environment so you can in case anything uh, if a particular thing goes bad with a particular version you can always revert go back to the previous version or you can push up the new version to rectify the issue okay so let, in our case we're just going to docker build we're going to tag it as a web server and i'm just going to do the image or like particular v1 and i will just enter okay so it says exactly one argument it requires right so if let me run this docker build i burn okay so and so what fail is so you can use the docker build hyphen t web server we forward to give the path of the docker file so path is the current directory if you enter this right now so oh so okay so my docker uh, daemon service is not running right now let me start that this is a common error you will also face so in that case if you already install docker desktop open docker desktop it will take some time to open up and you just have to start the service uh, that's uh, i think it's not loaded yet so if you are on windows and if you are getting this error that docker daemon is not running it most it be mostly signifies that your docker desktop you haven't started before running any docker command so docker desktop understands the docker cli instructions right so the daemon is yes as you can see my docker desktop is started so let's free try one more time to run our command docker build command enter so as you can see the docker build command started and it started to do the base image creation right now so once the image is successfully created i can show you in this particular image you see under images section a docker image is getting created is created so it's here and then the tag we gave is the v1 so you can find the v1 tag is there okay so next point next part is we have to run our docker image we have to spin up a container from this particular docker image okay the image name is web server image okay so in order to run the container we have to use another command called run command docker run command so the built image can be launched in a consistent way to other docker images 
so when a container launches it's sandbox from other processes and network on the host okay so on this machine and when starting a container you need to give it a permission and access to what it required so basically it will use the same network as the local machine so for example to open and bind to a network port on the host we need to provide a parameter which stands for like hyphen p so i will you will understand this when we write this particular command so let's start running and let's spin up a container from this now to in order to run uh, spin up a container from this particular image you have to use the command docker run hyphen d hyphen d stands for the detach mode i will so when you spin up a container you want your container to run in the background so that everyone you can you know you can give the url to every uh, others also so that they can also access the container and in the meantime you can also work on the terminal instead of your terminal getting blocked so that is the detach mode then you give the hyphen p p p stands for the port and you will use what port you want you are this container this particular code needs to be run in my case i'm giving 80 8080 both on local host and the container so an nginx container basically runs on the 80 port as a public web server and then we have to give our image name which is web server image v1 and then this is that's it this is the command you can just enter it then now your container is running this is the container id okay you can see the container running container by using docker ps you will see the one container is running with web server image and this is the container name in order to access this what you have to do you have to go to your browser go to localhost and then give the port 80 as you can see the the template code which you have created this has hosted now if you go to index.html post a uh, simple html code in a docker container and you can then share this container id to your colleagues so that they can also spin up the same spin up a container from that docker image and they can also see the your code what you have worked on uh, for the more upcoming videos please subscribe to our channel if you like if you found this video useful